Hello and welcome back to the channel. I am just Joe and thank you very much for stopping by and taking your time for checking out this video. Just before I get into the video, I just want to say yes, I'm using the green screen and you can tell because of this really bad grainy look that's because the green screen is actually reflecting on this surface right here but due to limited space lighting um, this is the best I can do but for now it looks really cool and I'm quite excited to use the green screen finally because I've had it for such a long time and I've never really used it but I do hope you like it and thank you. So in today's video um, just a small little request but something I want to cover my previous video which again thank you so much for everyone who has uh, watch that video and give it a thumbs up really do appreciate it it's a massive massive help and it's really nice to see you all sort of watching the video i think we're currently at like 2.6k views with almost 60 likes i mean that is amazing thank you again so much so in today's video we're going to be covering the camera mod 2 in beat saber just to show you guys my beat saber settings with the camera field of view and also just just in case you didn't know that camera mod 2 when you set up multiple cameras you might not know how to use it because when you add a camera I'm going to show you in the video anyway just a small disclaimer as well I'm not very good at these kind of videos in general but I do like to share them with you uh, tutorials and whatnot I'm just not a good speaker everything I do say is off the top of my head I don't have a script I know I should but it's just who I am I don't have time to write a script and this is when I just talk a lot of rubbish but I do hope you enjoy the video thank you again for watching it do hit the thumbs up and if you want to see any more videos on Beat Saber let me know in the comments below and give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future. So let's get into the video. What I'm going to be using is the Oculus Quest 2 and I have the virtual desktop app so I'm going to be playing Beat Saber via the Steam, uh, not Steam sorry, the Oculus Store version. But I'm going to make a completely separate video if you guys want to see that, how to set up virtual desktop with the Oculus Quest 2. It is absolutely amazing. You can play all your Steam VR games and your Oculus Store games from the desktop wirelessly to the Oculus Quest 2 and it works absolutely perfect. But I will cover that in, a, in another video if you guys want to see that. But in this video we're just going to be looking at the camera mod 2. So hopefully you guys are still with me. Thank you again for your patience and let's jump into the game. First things first, I'm just gonna open up the virtual desktop app. It says you have applications running on your computer that will prevent virtual desktop from working correctly. Punk Buster, just close that. Um, Oculus username, blah, blah, blah. Basically, you just have that open on your desktop and then now we wanna go into our VR. Bear with me a sec now. Bear with me a sec again, I need to make sure Streamlabs is capturing everything. Turn down the gameplay audio. Okay, so we're in the game. And as you can see, I've already got Camera Mod 2 set up with the um, two extra virtual cameras in each corner. Um, first things first though, drag these cameras around and then to resize them, you go to the bottom right corner Just like that, which is pretty cool. And then you can see it's not going to actually work because I'm not in any space. I'm just sat down. I'm not going to be playing the game. This is just to show you the cameras. But to get there, and also I'm going to show you my camera FOV settings, okay? Headset back on so I know what I'm doing. Right, so what you want to make sure first is go to settings and go to smooth camera. You want to turn this off, okay? Having this turned on will override your camera to mod settings, okay? So you want to make sure you do that, okay? And then obviously once you've got your mods installed, you'll see over to the left that you've got camera two. Okay, so once you get into there, um, you won't have any of these cameras. You'll delete that camera. Yes, delete that camera. What you will see is you'll have this camera here. It says main. So this is your main camera. Okay, I'm not going to tweak my settings, but this is my current settings right now. So for your main camera, okay, main. Camera type, first person. Field of view, got 92.50. Render scale, 130. Uh, 
I'm going to keep it at 130, actually. Anti-aliasing, 2. All right. Visibility. I don't... I don't mess about with any of those. Smooth follow. Position smoothing, rotation smoothing. Okay, so you want to tweak these, actually. If you want the same smoothing as I have. As you can see, pretty smooth. And if you look at my previous video, I'll leave a link in the description to uh, the last gameplay if you want it to be that smooth. I don't know. If you guys want to get into that, I don't really know, but I just leave all that unchecked. But this is for my main camera. So, if you're wanting to add more cameras, you just go to Add Camera. Um, change it to Positionable. As soon as you do that, if you look down, you'll see the camera is at your feet. Okay. Then you want to just position that wherever you want it. Say if you want it there. Right. Let me just check what that looks like on the screen. Right. So as soon as you add a new camera, it takes up the entirety of your game screen. Okay. So what you want to do now is just lift off your headset, go to your computer, use your mouse, go to the bottom right corner, and then resize it. Okay. Position that wherever you want to. There you go. Same again, if you want to add more cameras, go to add camera, positionable. Again, it's going to be at your foot. In that way, if you want it. Um, let's have a look actually, field of view for this. So you can change the field of view of that, which is pretty cool. <gasps> um, and again, lift off your headset because it'll be covering the screen. And just reposition it. Remember, it's at the, only at the bottom right corner you can adjust the size. So now if we go back, um, what you actually want to do, go back to camera settings, uh, visibility, general previous size, hidden while playing. You want to choose hidden. I think hidden while playing and just put hidden okay so now the cameras are hidden while you are playing the game but they will still be showing on your game capture scene um i'll not be able to play the game while sitting down but i'm gonna try anyway Ah, actually just smashed my uh, microphone. Oh, well. All right, you guys. So this is not much of a gameplay video, but just another tutorial to show you guys how to set up the camera 2 mod inside of Beat Saber. Also showing you my FOV settings and how to set up virtual cameras with inside Beat Saber. I hope this video uh, was helpful. If it was, please leave a thumbs up. Now I'm just breaking everything. If you want to see any more future videos on Beat Saber, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe as well, just to be notified when I upload new videos. Would really appreciate it. Thank you again so, so much. All right, and also check out the description. Feel free to join in the Discord. Uh, follow me on Twitch. I do go live on Twitch as well when I can. I do have a full-time job working nights, so it's actually kind of hard at the moment to find time to play games and make YouTube videos. But... Like today, on my day off, try to make as much time as possible to make these videos for you guys. So would really appreciate it if you uh, help me out with a little bit of support. All, all, it, all it takes is a thumbs up 
and uh, and a comment. Subscribe if you want to. That would be an added bonus. All right. Thanks again so much. And see you all in the next video. Bye for now.